Hi, I'm Sophie from Encodian, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can start to merge approved Word documents together. So we're going to be merging three Word documents together. We're then going to be converting them to PDF and then saving back to SharePoint so we can have a look at the results. So let's have a look at the solution. So the scenario for this demo is that there is this sales proposals folder in SharePoint. Each new sales proposal for each new customer will get their own proposal folder. And inside the proposal folder is where each section of the final proposal document needs to be added. So say you have a sales team of three people and each person is working on different sections of the proposal. Once they're finished, they can come through to here and upload their sections. They just need to upload the file and put the sort order of their file as well. And this is going to help with sorting the documents into the correct order in the Power Automate so that they can be merged in the correct folder later on. So once everyone's uploaded their sections, they then need to fire off the Power Automate, and that's going to be manually triggered. There's also this column here called approval status. So as you can see at the moment, it is empty. So this column gets filled in by the Power Automate, and it lets the Power Automate know whether this document has already been approved or not. So that's the SharePoint, it's quite simple. So let's go ahead and have a look at the Power Automate. So this is my flow. So as I mentioned, my flow is manually triggered and it uses a dynamic input called folder name. And this means that this one flow can be dynamic to all of the sales proposals that the sales team need to get approved and need to merge together. So it just means it can be reused because we're gonna be able to get the path of the folder dynamically. So to start, we are initializing two variables. The first variable is called approved documents, and this is an integer. And this is going to keep count of the number of approved documents in the SharePoint folder. The second variable is called merge documents input. And this is the variable that we're going to be using as the input to flowers merge Word documents action a bit further down the line. We're also using a compose action here because our flow is running dynamically so it can run across all the folders. We need to dynamically get the file identifier for each folder that the flow is going to be run for. So we're just going to compose this here using the given folder name. So once we've got all of our variables and our compose done, the first step is to get all of the files in the proposal folder. And we're going to be limiting the entries to the given folder name because we don't want to start merging all the documents in the library. So once we've got the files, we then actually want to sort this output. So whenever you use a get files or say if you're using Dataverse, a list rows, the results that come back are in an array format. So once we have that array output, we can then sort it using a compose action and using the sort expression. So here we're going to be sorting the outputs of the get files action by the sort order property of that file, which was determined in the SharePoint library. So once we've sorted our race that the files are in the correct order for how they need to be merged in the document, we can then loop through this. So because we're looping through the outputs of that compose and not the direct outputs of the get files SharePoint action, it means our dynamic variables aren't going to be popping up when we're needing to use them, which is fine because we can just write them as expressions anyway. So the first step here is a condition, and this condition is checking whether the document has already been approved. So in that approval column in SharePoint, that's what this is looking at. So it's looking at whether it's already been approved or not. If it's not already been approved, then it needs to go through the approval status. If it has been approved, then it doesn't need to be reapproved. So the first step, regardless of whether the document has or hasn't already been approved, is that we need to get the file content so that we can then use this later down the line. So we can do this using the get file content SharePoint action. Once we've got the file content, this is where the branches differ slightly. So if the document hasn't already been approved, we need to push it down that approvals process. 
So we can do this using the start and wait for approvals action. So this is what mine looks like. You can provide the text and the details that you want to provide. So I'm not going to take you through step by step what I've got in each box. However, I have added the file content as an attachment. So this means that the approver, when they get this approval, can easily go and open that attachment to look at the section they've been given. And this is also another reason for why we want to sort the outputs of the files in the SharePoint folder so that they are in section order because the given approver, when they're looking at these approvals coming through, the sections and the documents are going to come through one by one. So it's going to flow a lot better when they're reading each section to say whether they're going to approve it or reject it as it's all going to be in chronological order. So once the approval has been done, we then need to check for the results. If the document has been approved, we're going to update the file properties and update that column saying that it's been approved. If the document hasn't been approved, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to say that it's been rejected. Now, if the document has been approved, we then need to add two more steps. We need to increment our approved documents integer variable that we initialized at the start. So we need to increment this by one because we've just approved one document. And we need to append to our merge documents input array. And this is the format that you need to append to your array. So it's going to be a JSON array using these keys and these values. So the file name needs to be the file name with extension. File content is the content of that document. The word input format mode, I've just set to this, but there's a few different options here, but I want to keep the source formatting. And the sort position is again, gonna be that sort order, that number that was determined in the properties of the file back in SharePoint. So that we're just confirming that the documents are being merged in the right order. If the document was rejected, we don't need to do anything else because the documents, as we'll see a bit further along, are not actually going to be merged. So we don't need to append or increment the variables. Now I'm just coming back to that first condition. So this condition where we checked the original documents in the SharePoint, whether they'd been approved or not. So we've just had a look at the approvals process the documents are gonna go through if they haven't been approved. However, if the document has already been approved, we can skip that approval step and just go straight to appending to our array variable and incrementing our integer variable. So we still need to increment the integer variable because even though this document has already been approved, it still counts as one approval. And it's important that we're incrementing that variable for all of the approved documents because the next step is we're going to be checking whether all the documents in that SharePoint folder have been approved or not. So we can do this in this condition here, where on the left hand side, we've got our approved document integer variable. And we're checking to see if that's equal to the length of the output of the get file properties action that we had right at the start of the flow. And this will check whether all of the documents have been approved or not, because if all of the documents have been approved, that integer is going to be the same as the length of that output because the length of that output equals the number of documents in the folder. So if not all the documents have been approved, this is going to go down the no branch and nothing else is going to happen because the salespeople who have documents that have been rejected need to make their amendments and then they can rerun the flow, which is why it's important to check whether the flow has already been approved or not, because documents that have already been approved don't need to be approved again. But if all the documents have been approved, we can then come through here and use Flower's merge Word documents action. This action has two different ways you can input data. So I'm just going to remove this for now to show you what it will look like when you first put it into Power Automate. So when you first add the action to your flow, this is what it's gonna look like. So if you're not dynamically adding documents, you can come through and add each of your fields into these boxes here. However, we've been dynamically creating our input array. So we don't need to do this. We can click this toggle here, which will take us to this array input. And we can just add our merge document input array here. And that's all we need to do. Next step is we need to convert this to PDF. 
So we're going to be using the output of the merge word document action here. And we're just going to be converting this to PDF. And then the last step in the flow is we actually need to save this PDF document back to the SharePoint folder. So the folder path, again, this is going to be using that file identifier that we created at the start of the flow. And then we're going to be using the file name and the file content from the outputs of the convert to PDF step. And that's the end of the flow. I'm just going to go back to the home page and test this. The folder name is proposal three. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the flow. So I can see that the flow is running. So now I'm going to go into Outlook and check for the approval emails. So this is the first approval email that's come through. We can see that I've got section one attached to the email. And I've also got the details about the flow here. So I'm just going to go ahead and approve and wait for the others to come through too. So this is the last approval. So I'm just going to go ahead and submit this. And then we'll go back to the flow to see how the rest of the run is doing. So the flow has now finished running. So let's go ahead and check the SharePoint. So I'm just going to give this a refresh. And we can see now that we have our proposal three PDF. We can also see that the approval status of all three of the documents is set to approved. But before I go ahead and open this up, I just want to show you the individual Word documents. So this is section one. So we can see that this page has a contents page because it's going to be the first page in the merge document. And we have two sections here. This is section two. So this is the proposed solution section. And lastly, this is section three. So we can see that we've got two more sections here for costs and time frame. Let's open up our PDF. So this is our merged PDF, and I just want to draw your attention to the table of contents here. So when you use the merge Word documents action, it automatically updates and refreshes the table of contents used as well. So there's no extra step you have to do. The action will do this automatically. So we can see that we've got all of our added sections here with their page numbers. We've got page one, page two, and page three. So the document has been merged correctly. So in the solution today, we looked at how we can automatically send documents in SharePoint through an approval process. And once all the documents have been approved, merge these Word documents together, convert them to PDF, and then save back into SharePoint. This is just an example scenario for the demo. And of course, you can merge and convert documents for lots of different types of business scenarios that you may have. We use two flower actions today. We use the merge Word documents action and the convert to PDF action. If you have any questions about these flower actions or about the solution that you saw today, please leave me a comment down below or get in touch with us at Encodian. And as always, happy automating.